today? How'd you pick what you were going to do again versus what you did the combine? Um, yeah, I mean, I think overall it was pretty good. I increased on both the both the tests that I tested for, so I, I kind of came down to what I thought that I could I could have improved on. And uh, personally, I thought my my vert uh, was you know not up to par when I was at um, Indy. So uh, I redid that and I improved it, which was good. Um, still not my goal, but that's okay. Um, you know, whenever, whenever I might want to be trying to dunk on somebody, you know. Uh, and then my 40, um, I mean, like again, personally, I know I can, I could ramp faster than what I did. And after the week that we had there, it was pretty mentally, mentally straining and you know, also physically. So uh, I think. Sorry about that. Um, I think that uh, I went well. Uh, I'm hearing some things, and I ran, you know, faster than what I did in Indy, and I think that it went well. Do you know what the time was? Did they tell you? Um, I think it was around four five three. Yeah, four five three. Five, so three. Uh, three. yeah, so four five three, which is uh, I mean, I got different times in Indy, but the one that they posted was a four five eight. So my goal is to sub four four five five, mm -hmm. and I achieved my goal. So I'm happy with that. And the drills went well. Uh, unfortunately, I dropped one pass first one first one of the day. Uh, you can blame on whatever you want, but. Uh, you know, I think overall, I had a you know, pretty decent day. Are people Can't. talking to you about uh, is it true running back, age back, tight end, some combination? Or is yeah, there's there's just a lot of it's up in the air. I mean, uh, I think my athletic ability and my size kind of leave that position pretty broad and wide open. Um, so I've had a couple teams ask ask me about me in um, at tight end and H back and fullback, and I've also had teams see me as running back. So. It's a mixture of things, but I'm getting good feedback, and I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and trying to show them I'm a running back. And if they want to move me, I'm open to the idea. But just you know, I've been training, and I'm going to keep continuing to train for running back. So. What have you been doing in your training? You said you were training in Portland. Yeah. Maybe what's been different from collegiate ball to actually training for the NFL? Yeah, well, this part here is, is a lot of te technicalities. You know, practicing the 40, shuttle drill, L drill, all that stuff. There's a lot of technique that goes into running that you don't think about. And football training versus combine training is a lot different. So when we when we get back this next couple of weeks going into the draft and, and teams going to see me working out and, you know, whatever, whatever happens moving forward, um, there's going to be a lot different style of training. I'm going to work on more speed cuts, work on getting in and out of cuts, cone drills, football, actual football drills that – um, apply to the game instead of you know working on 40 and making sure my form is right and all I mean all those things are great um, but it's time to hone in on actual football drills. Did you have to give up anything specific any favorite tre treats or? Oh yeah for sure I mean it's just like on the, on the weekend after a game instead of going to go get that yeah. you know pizza or whatever um, having a few slices or whatever just kind of treating yourself after you know a hard week or whatever it's just you treat yourself with an apple or some you know, apple peanut butter or like celery and peanut butter and, and stuff like that. So, uh, and at the same time, I mean, I had a meal plan coming in. So a uh, uh, group out of Portland, company out of Portland supplied it and we've been doing that for the past couple weeks and they did, did a pretty good job. Uh, so I think, you know, in terms of cutting, cutting the sweets out, sorry, sorry, I thought a ball was coming. Uh, cutting sweets out, I mean, you, you have to, it's necessary. You can't can't play at this high level and be eating McDonald's and kind of stuff like that. Uh, not saying that I ate that in the first place. I'm just saying if, you know, for anybody who wants to train for this stuff, you got to make sure you have a well-rounded diet. Can you talk about this experience a little bit and about the combine? Yeah, yeah this is this is fun. Uh, there's a bunch of scouts from different teams, and you only get to do this once in your lifetime. So I'm just happy that I was able to come out here and compete and show what I got. And, you know, the combine was a, was a beast on its own. That was something that a lot of people don't realize is how much mental toughness it takes to get through that week. Uh, fortunately, I was able to get there on Monday, so I had a day to kind of just acclimate myself, get familiar with the hotel, um, you know, time change, all that stuff. So, I mean, I was able to transition smoother than some other guys, I would say, but it was still, it was still, you know, in terms of Coach Anderson, a grind. It, was a, it felt like a grinder Tuesday every day. So, uh, it was, it was a fun experience. I'm glad I was able to go and able to show my face and, and show my talents and showcase what I got. Are there particular teams that based on the combine mm -hmm. and today you feel like needs to develop and report with? Yeah, I mean, there's 
I think that, you know, in terms of the combine, I think I turned some heads and I impressed some people. A lot of, a lot of guys were, or a lot of teams were unsure about me. They didn't know basically who I was. And I feel like my performance on the combine, as well as today, uh, I was able to kind of break out of my shell a little bit and show them who I am. Do you have any private workouts coming up for these certain teams? No, I have no idea. Not yet. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Are you, we'll see what happens. Are you leaner than you were? I mean, maybe yeah. it's because I'm not used to seeing you without comments. Yeah, no, yeah. I leaned out definitely a little bit. Uh, I mean, during the season, I played 235 mm -hmm. range, 240 range. Uh, in that that range, that five pound range, and now I mean the weight today was two thirty four. Mm -hmm. um, that was after breakfast and all that good stuff. Whatever you want to blame it on, but um, at the combine I weighed two thirty two. So yeah, I leaned out definitely a little bit, and um, and I just I mean my goal wasn't necessarily to cut a whole bunch of weight because I want to show that I can move at a, at a realistic size. So um, moving forward, I, I'm gonna still try to lean out and, and stay the weight that I am, but. Yeah, I want to I want to show them that I can move and be as, as fast and as quick as I am at the size because it's realistic playing weight. What is your uh, plan for the draft? Are you having a party or just be quiet with friends and yeah, I mean, family? That sort of thing? Yeah, just friends and family. A little party at my either my girlfriend's house or my brother's house. I'm not sure which one yet, uh, but it'll be pretty low key and we'll just, I mean, I'll watch all 3D. I know my, my family's got to work and stuff, so um, for some God-given reason, they call me on the first day. Uh, then you know I might end up be celebrating by myself. Who knows? But uh, no, we'll we'll for sure have a party. We'll hang out. We'll have a good time. Cook up some good food and and just enjoy the process. Did you get any feedback about whether improving the forty time and improve your chances of going as a running back in the draft? Um, I don't know. I didn't. I mean, personally, I didn't get any, any feedback uh, from a team that said, "Hey, you should." Run. Everyone said that your forty time was pretty good. They were you know a little bit shocked at. You know, how big I am, how fast I was moving, and I think this just kind of solidified today um, how fast I am and, and that I can really move. So, uh, moving forward, same kind of thing, just continuing to show what I got. So, yeah, combine's known for asking oddball questions. Did you get any weird ones? Not really. There was a lot of background information and a lot of personal information, football knowledge, but the only really weird one I got was it was during the media interview day, and the Ravens they asked. Um, who was the poet, or like, who, what was the poet that named the poem after the Raven? And I was the only one, it was Edgar Allan Poe, so I was the only one to, to get it right that day, so mm -hmm. kudos to me. <laughs> so, all set. Thank you.